Hey, what's up, coin hunters, and welcome to a 10 pence coin hunt with me, Richie. Right, Ta da our first bag. And oh, the way the queen sh was shining, I uh, thought we actually had to find straight away. Right, so hopefully, our luck when it comes to um, alphabets is going to continue. We've found one in nearly every video the last. Um, Oh, we got a find right there actually. It's a jersey, 1992. So we did actually find one of these last week as well. So nice, nice find straight away. Just put that up there so I don't mix it up. But we need to find alphabets and fill this, <laughs> this alphabet collection. You know, we've been doing it now since they, well, about a week after they came out so what March 2018 I've been searching for alphabets and we still haven't finished the alphabet collection for 2018 so what's that it's five years Is it five years four years yeah four years <laughs> 18 19 20 21 yeah 22 let's say five years um, four years really is that um, but yeah, still haven't finished the 2018 collection and barely scraped the surface when it comes to the 2019 collection. And we go through quite a bit of these 10 pences. So it goes to show you guys, even when you look through so many, you don't really find many. Um, and yeah it's just it does get frustrating but it's just one of them things so there are other things you can look out for like i always say there's your jersey guernsey like we just found the jersey one um island man gibraltar um if they're unsealed bags you might end up getting us quarters as well um that has happened before um with and pences so there is quite a bit you can keep an eye out for and if you find the US quarter obviously it's worth more than 10 pence so don't be like oh man you know be like yay made a bit a tiny bit of a profit and depending on the quarter you find you might actually make a nice bit of profit I think what most of them really go for about 40 pence um, so four times your money doesn't sound like much, but four your times in a ten pence by four, you might see otherwise. All right, so come on, nothing there. We do have that jersey, so if we don't find anything, that's fine as well. We did actually find a jersey. It seems Jersey is the most common of all the um, actual British Isle coins or countries that we actually find in our change. Right, let's have a quick scan. There's no camera shies, is there? No. Quick scan, and then we will get to picking. No, nothing there. Nope. But yeah, you can obviously tell on the front of the coin where the queen is um, if they are a um, thing as well, alphabet, because it will say 10 pence on it. And if we find one, I'll show you what I mean. The um, inscription around the queen herself is different to all the others. Obviously, because it doesn't write 10 pence on the back of the coin. Oh, this one's a bit ripped up there. Look. There we go. Yeah, got them all out of that little hole. Right, so let's have a quick peek before we start checking. Um, nothing obvious. Obviously, if we do find a 
alphabet, I'll show you the back or the front. The queen side is the front. The bit with the design on is the back. So always remember that. I got told off once um, a long time ago at a coin fair when I first started going. I accidentally said to my son about the front of the coin. Oh, look at that design on the front of the coin, just like that. And an old guy was like, excuse me, but that is actually the back of the coin. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> like, literally, like, okay. <laughs> Alright, next one. Next bag. Oh, yeah, all of them are out. That one was just a shield. Right, what I do, I spread them again. Make sure there's none that's camera shy. There we go. And nothing there yet. Yeah, so there's been a couple of times at coin fairs um, where I've been talking to my son and someone's either thought it was them I was talking to or they've butted in and stuff like that. And I thought, what was it? There was one I was asking my son what you actually looking for. And then a the guy started telling me all the coins he was looking for. And I was in, in my head. I was thinking to myself, you're not going to find them on the store you're looking at, mate. You know, at the prices that that guy charges. Um, which I found quite funny. But I've had that with quite a few things like when I've been to like comic book fairs as well because I have a massive collection of comic books as well um, and just people, there's always someone isn't it who thinks they know better than everyone else and with me everything is just if I like it, I like it you know and um, I don't, I can watch a movie, I used to have a friend actually um, we used to go to the cinema and every movie they watched, they analysed it, every single movie. And it was back in the days when like the American Pie movies were coming up. And with me it's just, I watch it, I laugh. You know, my wife tells me I laugh at everything. <laughs> you know, I can sit down and watch You've Been Framed all day and just laugh and laugh and laugh. And then my friend would be like, well, can we watch a proper movie now? And then we'd have to go and sit at the cinema and watch like very, very slow movies. And they'd be like, oh, that was amazing. They'd be like, okay, like, yeah. And so we used to make all our friends um, watch these movies. I actually fell asleep. Um, one time I was told that I was very rude <laughs> and I was, I, I was just honest with them and actually told them no I actually fell asleep because I was bored not being rude um, about it but I was actually so bored in this movie because it was so slow um, I actually fell asleep watching it and my mate told me I was rude and yeah that was probably one of the last times because we always used to like a group of us used to go out every Friday after work because we used to finish about um, 11 o'clock from the supermarket I worked in and every single Friday we would go and watch a movie and the one time well not the one time but one of the times a certain friend chose the movie I fell asleep um, and I was told I was super rude but to be fair it wasn't the first time I'd fallen asleep in the cinema I actually fell asleep in the cinema watching um, I think it was Kill Bill 2 um, I went to the Odeon in Candom and it was late guys it was super late I don't even know why we went to like the last showing at like 1am <laughs> 
and we just come out of um, there was a club well it's still there called the world's end and we come out of there after a night of like basically jumping around listening to heavy metal music and one of my mates was like you know Kill Bill starts soon and I was like is it and he's like yeah do you want to watch it I was like yeah go on then like that and well, I don't think I was the only one that fell asleep because I remember a member of staff coming and telling us to get out basically um, so I had to end up going back to the cinema and watching Kill Bill 2 again um, to actually see what actually happened right so we haven't had any alphabets in here but we have got um, a jersey which I'm going to say this even though we didn't get an alphabet yet <laughs> I'm still going to say it's a success obviously because of that little jersey there the only time it's not a success is when we find Nilpwa when we score the same amount of fines as the United Kingdom fines in um, the Eurovision <laughs> and no no alphabets there so our alphabet run is over so give it another six weeks or so and we find another one but we did find a jersey from 1992 and as I already have that one that goes back into circulation so guys thank you very very much for taking the time to watch this video I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one so take care guys and happy coin hunting goodbye